Hi friends, this is my recap of the Always Rejoice 2020 Jehovah's Witness Convention Sunday Morning Part 2. My recap will cover Jeffrey Jackson's public discourse entitled, Enjoy Riches Without Pain. How? Jackson discusses the perils of desiring riches and actually reads several practical scriptures, but from Jackson's take on things, the real riches are found in Jehovah's blessings, which basically means following the organization and therefore obtaining blessings from Jehovah. What he doesn't mention is the tremendous wealth that Watchtower and its corporations have amassed in spite of what they proclaim to be living in the last days. Take a look for yourself, friend. All links are in the description box. What are you willing to do to become rich? But those who are determined to be rich fall into temptation and a snare and many senseless and harmful desires that plunge men into destruction and ruin. For the love of money is a root of all sorts of injurious things, and by reaching out for this love, some have been led astray from the faith and have stabbed themselves all over with many pain. The love of money. But there's something else that can cause problems for those who have a love for money. People steal lie, cheat. They even prostitute themselves and others kill other persons just to get rich. Money doesn't automatically mean that we have genuine security. The wealth of the rich is his fortified city, for it will surely sprout wings like an eagle and fly off into the sky. Your paycheck comes, you think, yes, I've got some money. You turn your back, and all of a sudden, it's gone. There's not enough money. Money, at times, does not give us the security that we want. They're famous. They have money. And yet, when they're interviewed, they talk about how lonely they feel and how meaningless their lives are. We've heard accounts of persons, one way or another, who have accumulated billions of dollars, but they just keep on accumulating money, even though they couldn't use all that money in 10 or 20 lifetimes. But oftentimes a rich person stays awake at night worrying about his money. No one can slave for two masters, for either he will hate the one and love the other, or he will stick to the one and despise the other. You cannot slave for God and for riches. So this would affect our service and our love of God. I thought happiness was all about money and getting to buy whatever I wanted. I was really into fashion. I was always thinking about what I was going to get next, and I didn't mind putting an extra overtime to get it. I'd wake up in the middle of the night with panic attacks. I felt so lost and confused. Everything I'd worked for was for nothing. My motive for shopping was when in doubt, buy. I bought a lot of things, powerful motorcycles, a house, cars. I somehow made it to meetings, but after they ended, I'd leave right away. All I ever talked about was work, and I showed a real lack of consideration for my wife. We weren't happy. We just felt stress, stress, and more stress. They wanted to be rich, but did they receive happiness and contentment? No. There were problems that came along with it. What is it that really brings us true riches? It's the blessing of Jehovah. Now, this is not talking about an offshore bank account. Rather, it's talking in a symbolic way about how we can build up, as it were, a good relationship with God by means of the things that we do. You see, if riches and the glory of the world are the very things that make us happy, then why was Satan willing to give all that away? Obviously, it hadn't given him the happiness. He wanted something else, didn't he? Jesus selected the right thing, to build up treasures in heaven. Well, this has got to be one of the most ridiculous things I've ever heard. Is it just me? 
But did you hear the subtlety? Jackson said, it's talking in a symbolic way about how we can build up, as it were, a good relationship with God by means of the things that we do. So in other words, donating to the organization establishes a good relationship with God. I wonder how the children of Henrietta M. Riley felt when she donated her millions to the organization many, many years ago in an attempt to build a good relationship with God. So if we worship Jehovah and obey him, we can expect to get our lives enriched by these wonderful things that uh, Jehovah gives us. So what's the first of these things that can enrich our lives? It's knowing God. You see, many people like to know the rich and famous. But just think of it. We have the privilege of coming to know the sovereign of the universe. Yes, by learning about him and getting to know him, our lives truly become rich. Watchtower discourages its followers from going to college. Learn a skill, learn a trade. Now, there's nothing wrong with learn with learning a skill or being a skilled laborer whatsoever, but you have to understand that Watchtower is a real estate empire. They have real estate all over the world that they're buying and they're selling, and now they are flooded with skilled laborers who consider it a privilege to construct their buildings for free. The labor that Watchtower has in the construction of their buildings is from volunteers on a voluntary basis. Look at their headquarters at Warwick. Did you know that they bought a hotel to house all of their volunteers? I wonder if they charged them for room and board. I don't know, I, I have no clue. Do any of you know whether or not they did this? Free labor offers a massive profit margin. We become worshipers of Jehovah, and that includes us in a worldwide brotherhood. So that's something that enriches our lives as well. Living in difficult times, then we can attain a measure of happiness right now. We have hope for the future. Even though we're living in a world that's dominated by wicked people. Did you know that worldwide in the past few years they've been selling massive amounts of kingdom halls they get their kingdom halls for next to nothing and then they sell them for massive profits after the publishers volunteered their labor to build them the volunteers paid for all of the expenses while they were using them for meetings the volunteers kept up the maintenance on their own and the, the cost to maintain them. And then the Watchtower sells off the, con the Kingdom Halls and requires them to travel some distances to another congregation while their beloved Kingdom Hall is sold. Here's the false reality that's so diabolical. The organization repeatedly says that they're broke. They repeatedly said that when I was in, and they still do. There's no longer any costly printed material. Everything is online, and guess what? It's all developed by volunteers. All of this while keeping the indoctrinated suspended in fear over the ever-present threat of Armageddon. Why? That those who we love have already died will have the opportunity of being resurrected, or in other words, being brought back to life. What beautiful hopes these are a hope for a change in the world, and a hope for those who have died to come back and live again in a paradise. Those are the things that can enrich our lives right now. I adjusted my work and made the ministry the focal point in my life. I saw some brothers from the congregation playing soccer with a young boy who had just lost his father. There is more happiness in giving than there is in receiving. The more I practiced it, the happier I became. I became convinced that this really is the truth. So how did these two individuals gain true riches? By focusing on serving Jehovah God. If we've started in a life course that involves just looking for material riches, we too can change and follow their example. What true riches are ahead of us in the future if we continue to have a good relationship with Jehovah God? In the future, 
This earth will be turned into a paradise, and the former things will not be called to mind, nor will they come up into the heart. What a wonderful blessing that is. That's something that money can't buy. No matter what traumatic experiences we've had in this life, no matter what pain we've experienced, those things will be healed. No more pain at all. What a beautiful promise from our loving Heavenly Father, Jehovah. And that can be part of the riches that you can attain. They're lying to you, friends. They're after your money, your gift cards, your airline vouchers, your frequent flyer points. They want your children to donate their ice cream money. Remember that Caleb and Sophia video? They need to heed their own advice because they are the ones seeking after riches and they have riches. Donating to the organization is not going to get you brownie points with Jehovah. It will only add to their riches. You need to get out of the organization, friends. They're leading you on a path to destruction. The Bible does not say that a man-made organization will be God's mouthpiece during the last days. Hebrews chapter 1, verses 1 and 2 says, God, who at sundry times and in diverse manners spake in times past unto the fathers by the prophets, hath in these last days spoken unto us by his Son, whom he hath appointed heir of all things, by whom also he made the worlds. God doesn't speak to us by an organization, friends. John 1.1, 1, 1, in the beginning was the Word. Jesus Christ is called the Word. The Bible is called the Word. We have the Bible. We can read the Bible. Read it. Read it for yourself. You don't need to go through the publications in order to know what the Bible has to say. What's written in the publications is misleading you. They're telling you lies. We don't want to strive after fake riches, riches that just give us gain with pain. Rather, let us strengthen our relationship with our Heavenly Father, Jehovah. And in this way, we truly will reach out for the real riches, those that we gain without pain. There is no faithful and discreet slave speaking to us this day. Watchtower is a mega corporation comprised of many, many different corporate arms. They are disguised as a religion and they are taking you for a ride. I have shared so much truth in my other videos about Jesus Christ, who he is, and what he has done for you. Romans chapter 3 says, Even the righteousness of God, which is by faith of Jesus Christ, unto all and upon all them that believe. For there is no difference, for all have sinned and come short of the glory of God, being justified freely by his grace through the redemption that is in Jesus Christ, whom God hath set forth to be a propitiation through faith in his blood, to declare his righteousness for the remission of sins that are past through the forbearance of God. Salvation is found in Jesus Christ, friends. It is not found in the Jehovah's Witness organization. That's it for today, friends. Thank you so much for liking, sharing, and subscribing to my videos. All of the links are in the description box, including a link to my Facebook page. So much you watching, friends, and I hope you have a great day.